Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn about the another new 3D printing technology that is nothing but the FDM that is of Fuse Deposition Modeling. So in our previous video, we have learned about the stereolithography. So in that case, the liquid resin gets converted into the solid object. So over here, we are not using the liquid resin. Instead of using this liquid resin, we are using the coil or else we can call it as a plastic filament. The majorly used material over here that is ABS and polycarbonate or as other uh, thermoplastics basically. So guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the actual process of this flu fuse deposition modeling and its advantages disadvantages along with the, some applications. So if you are new to my education channel over here Ingenious Academy kindly subscribe to my education channel and please press the bell icon so whenever I upload a new video you will get instant notification so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic of fuse deposition modeling so there are a lot of 3d printing technologies which are available in the market but the most commonly used is the FDM process that is of fuse deposition modeling so over here in a case of FDM process the thermoplastic uh, like uh, filament is there and this particular thermoplastic filament is heated up to its melting point okay on the inside an extruder and then it is extruded in a layer by layer and that particular layer by layer arrangement is done to form a 3d solid object well this kind of the 3d printing technology is firstly uh, like uh, introduced by mr scott trump in a uh, 1986 so he was the chairman and founder of the statuses limited so this company manufactures the 3d printing uh, machines and all the other prototypes so later brooklyn based company known as the makerbot so which is now owned by the statuses limited so they they also having the similar technology which is known as the fff that is fuse filament fabrication so over here the principle between these two technologies are very much similar so let's understand what is actual process of this uh, fdm fused deposition modeling and fff that is fused filament fabrication so first of all the material which is used over here that is of filament type okay thermoplastic is there and this particular filament type thermoplastic is uh, like there in a coil stock now this coil stock is an input to that particular machine 3d printing machine so as we have seen in the previous video of uh, 3d printing and the stereolithography the 3d model is there and that particular 3d model or is the cad file the data from the cad file is gets converted into the stl file type that is standard tessellation language and this stl file type will be the input to that particular 3d printer in almost every 3d printer the stl file type is very much essential and it is required because there are the several amount of the data that is how the layers are going to arrange for each uh, one of the layer the different geometry will be there so to understand the different geometrical aspects and parameters this stl file is very much essential and it will be an input to the 3d printer so now this particular 3d printer are having the four important parts that is the computer that is the cim we can call it as a cim because this is the computerized uh, integrated manufacturing process so we can call it as a CI the computer is there and the base or we can call it as a support base so this support base is having the arrangement to move vertical along with the XY axis and in the Z axis so it will be having a provision to move at different uh, different axis so there are degree of freedom which is associated with that particular base plate and alongside with that there is there will be an extruder that particular filament is connected to the extruder and inside that particular extruder there will be the provision of heating so heating coil is there and due to that particular heating coil that particular filament thermoplastic filament is heated up to its uh, uh, melting point and then in that case this particular filament thermoplastic filament gets melted and then it is extruded from the extruder in such a way that a different form a thin layer gets formed so this particular thin layer by layer gets formed and this particular extruder will also having a provision to move in uh, x y z directions in all directions it can move to form this particular different designs now this particular base plate is there and the extruder will move 
extruding the thermosetting thermoplast okay to form a 3d object so when that particular extruder extrudes a different layer by layer okay a base layer is then extruded and along that base layer the different layers are associated the bonding between these layers are you know very much instinct when that particular base layer gets constructed and upon that the second layer is constructed the second layer fused directly with the base layer so this is the reason it is called as the fused deposition is done by the extruder and the fusing on layer on layer occurs over here in this case and the modeling is done by the 3d modeler or the computer so this is the reason it is called as the fdm process that is of fused deposition modeling so that is nothing but the actual working of this fdm process so this is how a particular 3d printed parts are manufactured so now this kind of the technology is widely uh, having applications in almost every industry from the consumer goods from the like uh, the sculptures jewelry designs so this particular 3d printing technology is having almost having widely applications in almost every industry so over here we are getting a good surface finish over here in this case of uh, fdm process and after the fdm process now this uh, like the output part or as the output prototype is then again like you know rinsed in a resin or else it is painted depends upon the what kind of surface finish we have achieved so this kind of the fdm process is you know it is a very slow process or it will take more amount of the time depends upon the size of the object whether it is in the millimeters or whether it is in meters so depends upon the size so time taken for the manufacturing it totally depends upon the size of the object also the initial investment cost is you very much less as compared to the stereolithography process because this kind of this uh, you know uh, models are there which are initially made by the statuses later by the makerbot and other 3d printing like uh, startups are there which are giving you the kits so these kits you can make it at home such as in dy diy do it yourself cases so this kind of the 3d printing technology is associated in almost every industry because this is you know widely used and this can make you know intricate shapes complicated shapes can be easily manufactured by using this kind of technology also over here this particular technology is far superior than what we are using right now that is of conventional machining so over here there is a no scrap gets formed over here the 100% utilization of this uh, thermoplastic uh, filament is occurred so that's why there is no wastage gets formed over here so that is also another advantage also this uh, particular process is far more superior and we can design any part like there is the you know you know much more flexibility in the manufacturing we have get in this case of technology of 3d printing so that was the advantages over here the disadvantages is only the uh, time taken into the manufacturing so that was the only disadvantages we can get over here in this case of 3d printing technology so guys that was all about the fdm fused deposition modeling process if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this video